Hi friends, MD Vegan. I make a fruit salad today by A1 with nutrition. Uh, I mean, that keeps for a while. So I have a like to have breakfast with fruit, a light breakfast. At the same time, I like to have some protein and some fat in there. That's not so much in fruit, it's more in veggies. Also in nuts and seeds. So that's why I put um, bananas and cherries in the fruit salad. And the third part is um, hazelnut cream, but I would say omega-3 hazelnut cream. You have the hazelnuts and the hemp seeds. The hemp seeds are it's hard hemp. One, one, and one, or one, two, or one or two tablespoons, something in between. Uh, doesn't need more for one day omega-3 fat. And this is a handful of hazelnuts. And they have a very nice flavor together with the uh, hemp seeds. You add a banana here. Here, three, four bananas, yeah, small bananas, just to get the cream and uh, sweetness a little bit. But the thing is, and that I will tell you today, is then you blend, I found, and put the bananas in the blender first, when you put uh, hazelnuts together with hulled hemp seeds, then the hazelnuts, they have, of course, dry hazelnuts as you can buy them in any shop. Yeah, when you have hazelnuts, you have these dry, relatively dry hazelnuts. Um, but when you get them from the tree, my, my grandma had um, hazelnut bushes, uh, something between bush and tree, they are pretty um, uh, thin uh, stems. Um, and uh, it's very kind of a light tree I have in my memory. They were wonderful and I couldn't wait every time then they were, when they were ripe. I couldn't wait to try them and they have this wonderful fresh flavor, fresh uh, hazelnuts from the tree. When you get the right moment, they ha have to be a little bit more ripe, but then they have um, a very fresh green flavor. That's really amazing. Um, and they get that flavor again when you put them together with hemp seeds. And that's, that's th th something I really uh, didn't know before I tried it. I was so amazed. But um, it's a little bit a difficult thing to use hemp seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, all these um, wonderful omega-3 fatty acids um, you can get. Uh, you can also take algae. They have also this uh, very important essential fat. We need this kind of fat, the omega-3 fat, uh, for to build our muscles and our nerves and tissues and so that's very important and it's not in every plant So we have to look where it is and omega-3 uh, is in flax seeds, hemp seeds, chia seeds for example It's a very good sauce and one or two tablespoons a day are enough But we need a day and uh, you can really feel it. it makes a difference if you eat it. For example, my flesh here Yeah, is really uh, healthy uh, with them with this But that's of course the flesh is always an indicator of nutrients or sometimes it is and to me I noticed when I ate these um, omega-3 fatty seeds all of a sudden the, they got fresh and thick the, the, my, my gums that was very nice so I, I put a little bit of water in there not too much I want to have a, a creamy dressing it could be a little thicker yeah, as you wish uh, just <clears throat> for the fruit salad and that goes in. That's but that's very easy. But the thing is, um, you can't uh, you put lemons in there. So if you can, I don't know. I cannot do that because a lemon, together with the chia, hemp, or flax seeds, would turn it into sour, uh, bitter flavors. My hemp seed not so much, but especially with chia seed and uh, flax seeds, you could make the same with chia seed and flax seeds. But then the lemon would turn it into a bitter flavor, and many people don't like this bitter touch. Mother, others don't, don't care, so I just tell you, it is a bitter tasting to me, so I cannot use it with lemon or orange too. Yeah, I guess you have to use some other tricks. If you want to use a lemon or orange in that, maybe you have to use some dates or so to make it even, or some ginger, I know. Maybe you can then cover the bitter flavor, but just as is, very simple, bananas, um, hazelnuts and hemp seeds or flax seeds, uh, I wouldn't use a lemon or citrus fruit. But with this is the only thing I would, I would, um, I would um, um, suggest to be a little bit careful about. But 
Other than that, now blender dance. I mean, I tried to make a pretty basic recipes with a small amount, number of ingredients uh, to begin with. And then when I have a once I have a, have a ba uh, basic recipe like this, I can also refine it and put more ingredients in there, make it more complex, of course. And then it might be easy to uh, hide this um, bitter flavor from the from this from the omega three seeds here. Uh, but uh, I would like to have it nice also with small amounts of ingredient numbers of ingredients. That's why. Um, I try a little bit back and forth and make some experiments before I come out with a recipe like this. Let me taste it. Mm. And there it is. And that's the most important thing here. This super hazelnut freshness. You get usually only when you take it from the tree. And that's so nice with the hemp seed. I had no idea. It was amazing. So I know the texture is okay too. I have to blend it a second time after some minutes, a couple of minutes of soaking here, once the hazelnuts are broken down, that's mostly the hazelnuts that have to be, they need a second blending here. When you use uh, flax seeds or so, they also um, soak a little bit and gel up and so, then um, that's also for the seeds, but the hemp seeds are pretty, the hard hemp is pretty easy to blend, there's no second blending needed, but the nuts, they use, they like a second blending to make it really creamy and give it a nice flavor and texture. So, um, now my main fruits in it, and that is very simple, <laughs> um, and super healthy again, really, me, I can't uh, stress that enough. Bananas are super healthy and make you happy, and cherries, yeah, pretty much the same amount, they are such a little bit smaller here because they have been frozen, I guess, Maybe they're pretty much the same weight, I don't know. Here, frozen and thawed cherries. And the thing is with the, with the, with the um, thawed frozen cherries, uh, here you have the juice in there. Yeah, when, the, when they thaw it in a water bath, uh, in a hot water tub, uh, on top of a little um, a, a tin can or bowl, uh, then it melts, um, it thaws after a while. Uh, and uh, they have this wonderful juice. And the thing is, if you put the juice uh, together with the cherries into the salad and then the dressing on top, the juice begins to make these um, streaks, uh, these red um, color, color um, excitements, um, adventures <laughs> in the dish. Uh, I like that. It's also important for me to make a light dressing here when the dressing has dark colors. For example, I put a cherry is in there or so to make it dark red, then you don't see these wonderful little streaks. I'll show you in a moment. So I have a second blending now. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's basically all I need to do. I can I show you again here, also here. You can also eat this, you know, the cherries and bananas. Look at this. These are a little bit sour, the cherries. And together with bananas, they look beautiful, right? With the juice, you see, uh, the white and the red, and then uh, the rosy color. The pink color of the bananas here and it's also beautiful and the juice is already on the bottom so now I blend it a second time yeah it should be okay now uh, to make my fruit dressing fruit salad dressing <laughs> You can also make it warm if you blend a little bit longer. The blender is so powerful that these high-speed blenders, they make it uh, warm, yeah. even hot if you want. But I don't want it too hot now. It would also be nice with the bananas and cherries, I guess. It would be a nice effect to make it a little bit warmer. Just feel inspired. Let me taste it now. 
it should have the perfect texture and a very nice flavor then. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, the second blending makes such a difference. It's an easy thing to do. I show you what happens when I pour it over my cherries and bananas with the cherry juice. I mean, it's a pretty amazing and easy kind to make um, a fruit salad that is nutritious and keeping and beautiful with these colors. I just do a little bit of tossing here, not too much, so the colors remain a little bit visible and the contrasts. Quickly put it into my bowl to show it to you what it looks like. So you can see what I, I'm talking about. That's all. I mean, you can definitely make it a little bit more, more nice with um, a topping maybe, but that's all I need. And look how beautiful that is, isn't it? It's such an easy thing. You can't, you can't buy this. You have, you have to make it yourself. And I think, what can you ask for, right? Other than that, I'm so happy to have these hazelnuts, hemp seeds, bananas, cherries. Perfect. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. And maybe you want to like my video and subscribe and be vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.